Can we please be done with climbing mountains today? Yeah. We are making our way up into the original Territorial Enterprise building, the one that Mark Twain himself used to work at. The building has been abandoned for years now. There's a guy now who owns this place. He has told us that there's something in his building that's affecting a lot of people. So this is it. This is the building. All right, guys, so we're just waiting here for the owner of the building. He's supposed to meet us here. There's horse hair and hide in the mortar. If you grab it. There's a horse in here? No, no. The horse hair in the hides is what they used inside the mortar. You feel the hair in the mortar? In the old mortar? Yeah. Do you know who owns it? I we're... happen to be the owner. You are? Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's me. That's who we're waiting right. for. I guess, OK. <laughs> well, like, no, I you need me to come on down there? Uh, yeah, that would be if you want to, Tom. Ones. Parkour. <laughs> wow, that's nice. impressive. Right, now I gotta say parkour. Parkour! Yeah, he just did the parkour. <laughs> well, I don't even know what parkour is. Do you believe in ghosts and stuff? Well, I'm starting to. <laughs> Since being in here. A little unusual. Built in 1876, this building was home to the newspaper known as the Territorial Enterprise. This weekly publication was known for the flamboyant style of journalism developed by writers such as Mark Twain. What is all this stuff, Tom? Well, it's all historical equipment. Oh, these are so the these, old, like, printing blocks, huh? These are the printing blocks. The printing press there was the original press that the Territorial Enterprise printed on, and Mark Twain wrote for the newspaper. Have you heard about a woman who used to work here when the museum was open? She warned me when I started doing the restoration of the building to be careful. And uh, what we've done has been real respectful to keep the building restored original. Why'd she tell you to be careful? For what? For spirits that are in the building that we don't want to disturb their environment. For instance, this is a portal for the spirits to go up. And yeah. this is where the uh, printing plates were used to be moved up. So this is a portal where spirits travel up. That's what I was told. That's what was relayed to me. Look at this. Wow. So this is actual Mark Twain's desk. This no is way. his desk. That's Mark Twain actually wrote on that desk. Whoa. This was his desk. Presently, when things began to look dismal again, a desperado killed a man in a saloon, and joy returned once more. Samuel Clemens, Mr. Twain. We know that your house, your former house in Connecticut, is very haunted. It is. I really admired your quotes on the afterlife because I really connect with it and agreed with it. I said to the murderer, you have done me a kindness this day, which I can never forget. He actually pinned right there. I wrote up the murder and experienced but one regret, namely, that they had not hanged my benefactor on the spot so that I could work him up, too. You know, I feel like I have a weird connection to Mark Twain. Is it possible the spirit of one of America's most treasured writers is here in this very building? Nobody disclosed to me when I purchased the building that there were remains in the building. Are you serious? We lifted up this blanket here and found this. And it looks like, oh my gosh. I don't know wow. how you determine. Those, look, I have, I own some odd fellows human skeletons. I own a mummified head. So is this? This, this is a mummified human, human it, it body. It is genuine, not It is genuine. Fake? No, this is real. See, we don't know And that. there's bits and pieces of actual clothing from this. You, it, it, it is mummified. We 
Somebody's, wow. we're not sure what it is, wow. or if it's Native American or not, or if it's a female. Nobody told you that this was here? Oh my God. No. When did you discover this? When I walked down here and was moving the blankets and got freaked out. I was not expecting this at all. Whose remains are these? How did they die? And does this have something to do with the activity here? Billy takes EMF readings near the body. Look, as we're walking. Oh my up, gosh. I just. Was that the first one? Yeah. What was it? It went to 18 milligauss just now. Are you For serious? Real? Yes. And now it's on zero. You see it, right? Go closer to the thing. Yeah. To get a reading this strong so quickly likely means there is energy here. The question is, is it residual or intelligent? Hey, you guys, come up here, quick. As the storm intensifies outside, I immediately head upstairs to see if the energy we are feeling okay, in the basement permeates the entire building. Oh, but as down. soon as I reach the top of these stairs, I am instantly overwhelmed with fear. Billy. Yeah, come here. Yeah. I was just walking up here, got to where he was, was just looking up there. Yeah. I just got a feeling like, uh, it's like just the worst feeling ever. Like, it was just like, boom, like, like fight come up here, I will kill you. Really? Hold on, hold on. There's readings around you. There's readings around you, Zach. It was on zeros. It, yeah, I still feel it on me. It hit 2.4. You OK, Aaron? I what didn't are you even doing? know what, Snap what was out, weird is I didn't even think we were filming. It was the weirdest thing. I was just so zoned looking at 12, 15, 14. It's strong. It's over here. It's over here. It's like, I don't feel good. Yeah. I'm feeling what you guys are feeling right I don't now. Feel good. It must be right here between Zach and I. Sandy. Yes. Please come on up. Okay, Sandy is here now. Good. Sandy, come up to the, the fifth step, please. Let me see that device. See if it'll balance there. Sandy just got here. I don't I don't know you. Hi, how are you? Hi, pretty good. I just had a moment here, and we just had a moment. So instead of interviewing you, which is what I need to do right now, why not? We're going to get in a circle. Tom is there. This is the listen, what if you are here, I respect you, and um we're in this building now. I don't know what attachment you have to this building. Um, if, if your body is downstairs in the basement or what your story is. But what I can say is that I can feel you. We can feel you, my friend Aaron and I. Sandy, what kind of things happen here? What, what kind of things have happened to you? When we first came into the building uh, in the early 2000, people were being pushed on the stairs. This one? Ha uh ha. -huh. That's this staircase that's where that happened like to you me. said and the, that's where that happened to me there was a lot of negative energy in the building people would be followed and just literally pushed uh just in midair or uh, they'd hit the wall did people ever get pushed. overtaken by, yes by energies yes we had books from shelves fly off from the shelving towards the people that weren't nice at all I got up on the fifth stair like you asked. May I move back down to the other one? Why? Um, it, I don't like it on this one. It's not pleasant. You don't like it on that step? Correct. That's fine. Thank you. Can I point out the coincidence? Yeah. Of how all we're doing is talking? And she asked to move off of the step? Yeah. After near that same area is where that happened to me. 